in the here and now, not long ago and far away. The holidays are frantic in our rush to get things done. It's a wonder we survived them with our freedom to have fun. We make so many plans to keep us busy all day long. So there's no time for Jesus and it seems there's something wrong. For the baby in the manger long ago and far away doesn't seem to be important as we live from day to day. There's a baby in a manger far away long ago, but we have things to do and we have places we must go. Yet Jesus is the focus if we only understood. He's the most important factor for the kingdom is at hand. Jesus makes the difference for us as our Savior only can. He agreed to be a servant and became a lowly man. The Son obeyed the Father on that day that He was born. In the garden man chose evil and the human race was torn. Torn away from God the Father and were made as sins to slave, slaves to sin. But the Christ obeyed the Father and, re and reversed the mess we're in. He obeyed Him in each act, word, and thought throughout His life. He obeyed Him in death and in His memory all of His strife. He arose the overcomer over sin, death, and the grave and ascended into heaven and in many gifts He gave. Now He opened up the door for any who will enter there to be joined with God the Father, for he, he freed us from the snare. So there's much more than the story than a baby long ago. He's, this, he, he's born within our hearts, and this is by the Spirit's flow. When He's born within our hearts, He gives us power then to be, fully grown manifest sons of God, to live eternally. We look back into the manger and into the cross long ago. And now we have Christ within us. God has planned that seed will grow. To the measure of the stature of the fullness, it's God's plan to conform us in His image. It's the work that God began. Therefore the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. <laughs>
this taxing was first paid when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary as his spouse's wife, being greatly child. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, 
behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Thank you. 
In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn for the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not, for I know that you seek Jesus which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Bethlehem. There shall ye see him, lo, I have told you.